okay i was uh, asking the question about how did you know everything about the corona virus that they're spreading on this uh the most worldwide and most people was really panic and what they're gonna do on this and really scared a lot of people really panic on this situation especially those family and do you have idea and how could solve the problem and how could uh, this around us uh, protect themselves and the family and different country and really really scared did you have idea about this well first off the coronavirus is actually spreading from China to other states and countries but to keep us safe, you need to wash your hands and use like masks to not spread it and also stay a meter away from all people if you, if you cough or sneeze or three feet away. And in the coronavirus, if you don't have any soap or water, you can use hand sanitizer. And here's the next part. I have an idea that could help is that maybe you could actually cough on your to not to not spread diseases more, you could actually not cough on your hands but on your arms so you won't like you know you know when you high five or handshake everyone. Well, that's mainly on your hand, not your arm. So always cough your arm if you like have no time to I guess stay away from one meter or three feet okay. so yeah and next up the here's in the research I just made well from sponsors from Corkizard and I guess another website that can help me understand what viruses and bacteria are and, and the coronavirus as well. So we're always in schools, I guess we could also use, we always have bathroom breaks so we could always wash our hands. But back to the researching where I always watch videos about how vaccines, so the vaccines could also actually help you and we have a we have a coronavirus vaccine but it's not tested on humans yet so maybe a few months so they're, they're not uh tested tested yet that no not tested yet but in a few months and also how how how, how could the coronavirus cured when you are affected hmm. and a lot of people you can have treatment but the treatment the treatment won't have a lot of effect on the coronavirus so there's no cure yet but the treatment might help you help but still it's not enough to cure so yeah but how do people like stable right now the condition they're really are really monitoring their health they're still, do you think they're safe, their they're health, or they're out of danger it already? It depends. If, if they're affected, they have, they, they'll need a vaccine. But our vaccine for the, the coronavirus is still in work in progress. But another step from that is... The immune system is really co complex, so I can't tell you everything about it, but we can tell in another video. But for now, we have to learn what the coronavirus is and if we can ha make a vaccine to cure it. But have you ever realized, what do vaccines do? Well, the vaccines do is where... I guess make more memory cells. Memory cells remember bacteria and viruses. So when we once we have an a once we have like maybe a common flu, right? Yeah. 
So if we have a common flu, and we and our immune systems fight it, we we could remember if the common flu will attack us again. So our memory cells will activate the, I guess, you know, antibodies, so we can attack them. And that's why you can be like, you're sick, right? Yeah. And you have to take medicine. But sometimes you don't have to take medicine. Your body could take care of it itself. But sometimes infections can be actually really hard to defeat for our body. So that's why we use medicines and vaccines to help us. The dead vaccines is when the vaccines are like, I guess, dead, dead viruses and bacteria. But a live vaccine is a weak cousin of that, I guess, bacteria or virus that will affect you. So it's alive, but it's weak than the real cousin of it. So I guess that's how vaccines work. And the coronavirus is still spreading, but we still can be curing it. So I guess today is, I guess, a day of learning and, st and stay on watch from bacteria and viruses. So, bye-bye. Thank you very much for, for your sharing. And I hope that we can learn a little bit about yes. that. And then uh, I have one more. Uh, is this is right really affected on our our economy right now people was really scared about even the going to the school to the school and well, their, their their grocery is really running out of stuff because people they want to save a lot of stuff in their home and how do you think on the situation well it's kind of we have to share their we have to share materials to save human humankind that's why we share but then also in schools we always have to wash our hands okay and if you get sick stay away from I guess civilization so you won't get them sick and that's how that's how viruses and bacteria spread like the coronavirus but the coronavirus is actually a is really dangerous too so keep a lookout and to and how it started is when in china where animals like we eat animals right because for meat but animals can carry diseases as well so in china the coronavirus actually evolved instead of infecting animals it infected humankind so we don't have a cure yet but we might have in the future so i guess this is the end of the video Bye. but uh, you know that i heard that so many actually uh, survived for the coronavirus after they are uh, well, uh, affected well, if they survive the coronavirus after they got infected, they will might have a very weak immune system because their immune system battled so much that they defeated it, but also got weakened, making it, making other, other, I guess, other bacteria and viruses to infect the body, making it easier for them and, and make us you know, pass away. Their, their immune system in my, their... So that's why, that's why we take medicine to help our immune system. But first off, don't take, don't take a lot of pills because if you do, you'll weaken your immune system too because, because the anti, because of the, you know, antibiotics can 